Andreas, in your book on cancer not being a disease, being mm -hmm. a survival mechanism, you mm -hmm. say there are three main causes to cancer. Could you elaborate on that, please? Yes, typically it is congestion. It's always involved your know, congestion of things, waste products that the body is supposed to eliminate. Waste products. Yes, and uh, for example, if you ate uh, something like chicken or meat, there's a new study that came out, and I wrote an article in Natural News. Uh, you know, the, the, there's a study that came out of the, the National Institute of Cancer, and they tested 550,000 people, and they found that eating meat increases the chance or the risk of dying by 20%. And okay. that is the, the, the risk of dying from all kinds of illnesses, every single one. It, like they counted you know, cancer, mm -hmm. heart disease, diabetes, osteoporosis, you know, all kinds of causes of death that are, that are triggered by the eating of meat. And so eating meat, uh, when, you, when you do that, you can only digest a, a fraction of it mm -hmm. because uh, we don't have the concentration of hydrochloric acid that a carnivorous animal like a cat has. So if you eat the chicken, let's say, mm -hmm. you can only digest up to 20% of it. The rest of it, the 80%, will have to be decomposed. And you need bacteria to do the job of decomposing right. that. And that happens in the intestines, uh, particularly the large intestine. And so when you have these bacteria decomposing those uh, foods, you produce poisons like uh, cadaverins, putrescins, nitrosamines. Mm -hmm. Nitrosamines are some of the strongest carcinogens you can come across. And these are poisons that will be absorbed into the cisterna chili vessel, the main lymph a drainage center in the body, right around the belly button area. Mm -hmm. And that is the, the lymph vessel that drains the met metabolic waste products and the turned over cells, like 30 billion cells per day, from your legs all the way up, you have the reproductive organs, the uterus the, in the woman, uh, the ovaries, and in the man, the testicles, the prostate gland and then the intestines, large intestines, small intestine, the stomach, the pancreas, the spleen, uh, the, st you know, the, the liver, uh, and the, everything from the rib cage down basically gets drained uh, by that cisterna chili vessel. Now that vessel has a duct that moves all the way up to the throat and that, that's where it bends to the left and it joins the bloodstream at the heart. Now that is the major lymph drainage duct that has ducts you know, mm -hmm. moving into the, the, the thoracic duct themselves, and they drain, for example, the breasts. Uh -huh. So if you have a lymph congestion building up because there are too many toxins from that uh, undigested meat mm -hmm. are clogging up the lymph system, which is severely congesting it, then the lymph drainage from the breasts can no longer take place properly, and then you have a denser breast, so that means more metabolic waste products and dead cells accumulating in the breast tissue. Mm -hmm. That makes it more you know, dense, and then eventually the suffocation occurs that then leads to the, the mutation of the, you know, the DNA, and that will eventually you know, lead to the cancer. So congestion is congestion. a big most important, the second, if, if I mention two more, it would be vitamin D. As soon as vitamin D is low, mm -hmm. you're, because the vitamin D controls two and a half thousand genes in the body. Wow. It's a in, most influential hormone. It's absolutely powerful. Um, it is also you're responsible for keeping you know, the, the immune system mm -hmm. healthy and strong. You can't have a healthy immune system with low levels of vitamin D. It's impossible. All right. um, so that, that makes you susceptible to your know, cancer. As I mentioned, 77 percent of all your know, cancers can be avoided simply by restoring you know, uh, vitamin D to its normal level. Um, then you have lack of sleep. Lack of sleep. Lack of sleep. Um, and there's a particular type of the night uh, which you know, allows you to produce melatonin. Mm -hmm. And there's a research study that has done, uh, it's actually an ongoing study, it's called the Nurses Study. And they looked at closely at the connection between melatonin, mm -hmm. which is a powerful hormone produced in the pineal gland, and that is produced only in response to darkness. When your eyes are shut, when you don't see right. light, when no light is shining on your skin. 
Then you make melatonin, and it typically begins being secreted at around 9.30 in the evening, mm -hmm. and it peaks at around midnight, 1 o'clock. Okay. Now, when you have low levels of melatonin, your risk of cancer goes up because melatonin controls a gene mm -hmm. that in, in itself is responsible for the life cycles of cells. That means if your cell is supposed, the breast cell is supposed to live for six weeks and then die and get replaced with a new one, the cell will live longer if your melatonin is low. Your cell will live 10 weeks, 12 weeks, you know, 20 weeks. By that time, it is a cancer cell. Oh. Because cancer cells have a different you know, dividing mechanism. Mm -hmm. So old cells are cancer cells. So the longer they live, the more damaging it. So there is a gene that makes sure that they die on time. It's a death gene, and it allows the person to live. If you don't have that, or it's not active, then not a person you know, can develop you know, cancer cells. And uh, they found that in a study that nurses have the highest mm -hmm. risk of breast cancer or other cancers because they have an irregular sleeping habit. Their melatonin levels are you know, typically very low. And blind people, on, you know, in mm -hmm. contrast, they have the lowest risk of cancer because they are in darkness all the time and they produce the most melatonin. However, they have low levels of serotonin, which is a day hormone that is respond, mm -hmm. you know, that secreted in response to daylight or sunlight, and they are depressed more than uh, people who have you know, enough sun exposure. Okay, so it's congestion, lack of vitamin D, and lack of sleep, which promotes lack of melatonin. Yes. Dietary factor play a huge role, too. We'll talk about that. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome.